Hello scholars, today's topic is measuring time in seconds. And this clock might look familiar to you because it's a clock that we've talked about when we were talking about measuring time in minutes. Speaking of which, if you haven't done that topic already, I highly recommend that you go back to that one and master that before you come on to this topic. So let's get started. So previously we've talked about the minute hand and the hour hand. And the minute hand is this long dark hand that we see here and the hour hand is the shorter dark hand. However, you notice that there's another hand, this very, very thin, very, very long hand. And that thin one is the seconds. The seconds. And it operates pretty much in the same way as the minutes hand. You can tell things pretty much the same way as the minutes hand. For example, since this is at the 11 right now, you know that currently it must be at 55 seconds. However, obviously seconds travel a lot faster, and we know that there's 60 seconds in each minute. But how do we calculate elapsed time now that we have seconds? Well, it's pretty much the same thing as what we've done before. We use the same equation, elapsed time equals final time minus the initial time. So for example, I could say that 314 and 51 seconds minus 1, 10, and 24 seconds. So for example, I started my activity at 1, 10 p.m. and 24 seconds, and I ended at 3, 14, and 51 seconds. I do the same thing and I subtract. Moving from right to left, my smallest units, which are my seconds, 51 seconds minus 24 seconds. I'll let you guys do the math in your head, but it gives you 27 seconds. And then 14 minutes minus 10 minutes, you get 4 minutes. And 3 hours minus 1 hour is 2 hours. And finally, our answer is clear as day. It is 2 hours and 4 minutes and 27 seconds. See? Very easy. Same thing as what we've always done. Just so remember, the seconds hand goes through 60 seconds through the entire cycle. And it kind of works the same way when you're trying to find the number of seconds as what we did for minutes. You find the major marks, and then you count the smaller ticks to see where it ends up. All right, I hope you guys had fun, and good luck.